What's up Star Wars fans and collectors? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. So today we're looking at the fourth installment from the Gaming Greats line. This one literally just hit stores today. Uh, Zing Pop Culture here in Australia. It is the Shadow Stormtrooper from The Force Unleashed video game. Uh, great looking figure, awesome looking box again. Um, I'm loving just this coloured coloured look to the boxes uh, that they're giving these figures so if we look at the back a bit of a bit of a write up bio there so I've got the gaming greats logo as well as the sticker on the front so let's uh let's open it up and have a close look and here is the shadow stormtrooper now this is a great looking figure I'm really really impressed um it's actually it's just really really cool um I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Uh, this is one figure that I never got the three and three quarter inch version of. Hasbro did do a version of that, which I believe was in the 2007 30th anniversary line, um, or around that period anyway. Could have been a little bit later, I can't remember. Um, but they did do sort of this clear, translucent, black and blue sort of uh, Stormtrooper in that line. And given that Hasbro have just announced a new mold for their Stormtroopers, their Imperial Stormtroopers, this could be the last time we see Hasbro use this mold uh, for their Stormtroopers. Um, but again, it's not, it's old and faithful. It could be uh, it could be used for many years to come uh, for, you know, repaints like this one. But uh, it's looking pretty damn cool. Um, Weapons-wise, he comes with his E11 blaster, which I have in his hands. And that does fit nicely in the holster that is on his belt. Also comes with the uh, pulse pulse rifle. I can never remember the name of this thing. We've seen that released multiple times with stormtroopers and stuff over the years. So we'll uh, get rid of that. We'll just have a look over the figure and the details that um, what Hasbro have done here. And uh, they've used some fruit, translucent plastic, uh, which is which is actually quite cool. Um, and I actually did bring a light so we can sort of shine through and have a look exactly where they've used that. So on the arms, on that middle torso there, uh, just on the arm there, arm there, down that leg, and that leg. So it's sort of a little bit everywhere and this sort of painted over other parts I'm guessing that's a solid solid grey plastic but no no that's clear too so it looks like they've just um, painted over most of it the the cod piece there is translucent the upper torso isn't um, the shoulder bells aren't and the head isn't unfortunately the head would have been really cool to get a light through those um to be able to get a light through the eyes, eyes on the on the bucket there, that would have been really, really cool. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. I think that would have that would have popped really nicely if they're able to do that. But uh, what I do like is this sort of this paint. It's sort of a metallic. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it. I wouldn't say a glitter effect, but it is kind of a glitter effect. It's a bit of a shimmer. Same on the helmet there. So it's actually a pretty cool paint job. I do like the blue that's sort of around the shoulder bells there of the armor. Um, again, that would have been cool if it was a translucent plastic as well to go with that and then have that sort of sort of gray over the top of it and leaving the edges um, to look a bit translucent. But it could also be wanting to hide some of the hinge work and stuff in the joint, so I understand that as well. So going around the back, a trusty light. So the belt's kind of made of a translucent plastic as well. Um, doesn't look like the back piece is clear, but the front is. I'm just sort of showing this light over it, but. I actually like it a lot. I think it's really, really cool. I did pick up two of them, um, so I do still have one in the box. I'm going to open them both up. Um, this is, I think, <laughs> to have two of this is this is really cool. Um, 
I'm really hoping Hasbro decide to dip a little bit more into the expanded universe because, um, you know, specifically like this one where games are concerned, there is a big bit, a big bit of history there for characters and stuff. And if you give them the designation of gaming greats, then yeah, they absolutely, absolutely fit in with the line. Um, so please, Hasbro, give us a Star Killer from Force Unleashed or Force Unleashed Two. Um, with some variations that would be really cool because that was a great character so the articulation is the same as every other stormtrooper we've had it's a ball hinged head ball hinged neck ball hinged shoulders double jointed elbows ball hinged in the wrists uh torso joint there ball jointed hips ball uh swivel thighs there that's sort of uh double joints in the knees and ball hinges in the ankles so I actually like, I actually appreciate that they've gone and used like blue for the joints. Because if they've gone and used like a black plastic for the joints, you'd be able to see that through there. And they've done that up here too with the blue. But they've got, they've used blue pegs through those joints and black in the middle. So that's kind of nice that they've, um, they've actually taken a little bit of extra detail and done that. Same with the leg here. You've got a blue peg, so you don't have that discolored black peg that they've used there they could have quite easily just done that so I appreciate that they've uh, taken that extra effort just to hide some of the joints a little bit um, that's to be appreciated I think very much so so let me know in the comments below what you think of this guy I think it's a really cool addition to the black series line stay tuned for some more videos coming up very very soon until then may the force be with you